Hello everyone and welcome back to Voice. What we're going to do this week is continue our exploration of character development, but what we're going to do is explore different mental states. So I want you to take a monologue that you know really well, one that you've been working on, and then what we're going to do is try out that monologue as though we were in different mental states and see how we can do that. See, your character, depending on the story, especially in movies and in plays, that character is going to have a different mental state in different scenes, but there's also going to be specific events. Maybe that character is really tired. Maybe they're manic. Or maybe they're on drugs. But every drug is different as well, right? So what I want you to do is take 10 different mental states, and I want you to sit down, and I want you to run that monologue. Now I'm going to give you some but you're also going to find others as well. So first sit down and run the speech as though you hadn't slept in two days, when you're really tired, but you're so tired that you're almost getting delirious. Once you've done that, shake it off, and now, I want you to do it as though you were really excited but manic. Very, very, very happy, very excited, kind of bouncing off the walls, kind of that, if happiness was on a scale of one to 10, you're at a 15. I'm going to reorganize and restructure the physical layout of the office to maximize everything. I think we're getting a lot done, don't you? On paper, at least, and we are, after all, a paper company. Are we not, are we not, are we not? Are you with me, are you with me? Thank you very much. I want you to run the speech in that way. Even if it's a sad speech, what I want you to do is just try it out and I want you to get yourself as close to these mental states as possible. Always make sure you can make your, make your way back. Now, once you've done that, now I want you to run the speech as though you were in a really, really, really devastated, sad state of mind. Something had happened and you're now broken, sad, and even if it's a happy speech, I want you to run it in the most devastated, that mental space, that mental state. I'm sorry about failing you. No, 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 you never failed me. I was never there. You were always there. You were always there, always. Once you're done, then I want you to do it as though you were drunk. Oh boy. That's gonna add up to something bigger than your privilege, and I don't know what you'll do. Once you've done that, then I want you to pick a different type of drug, and I want you to do that. Don't do the drug, but what I want you to do is run the speech as though you were on that type of drug. And explore each of those, and if you're gonna do movies, you're gonna need to understand that if you're doing a speech and you are on cocaine. I don't know why, but today seems like it's gonna be a great day. That's going to be different than doing a speech on heroin. That's gonna be different than doing a speech on marijuana. Hey man, am I driving okay? I think we're parked, man. Right? What, what each of those drugs has a different effect on you, and I don't want you to go and do those drugs, but what I want you to do is understand that the, the way that you speak, that mental state that you're in while you're doing that speech is going to be completely different. And that takes practice. Sometimes you need to take that speech whatever that speech is and try it out a bunch of different ways. And each time you do it, you're gonna unlock different parts of that speech. Once you've done that, I want you to pick the one that you like the most, or pick the top two. I want you to record yourself, and I want you to upload that recording so that we can all see it. I wanna be able to see what your choices were and how your speech changes based on the mental state that you're in. All right, everyone, I can't wait to see these videos and I'll see you soon.